extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tummy. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Now the pitch comes to Ingram. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. He may try and run for this. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give him 17 on that pickup. You know, as a defensive guy, I don't normally do this, Brandon, but a tip of the cap to the offensive coordinator. Design quarterback run at this stage of the fourth quarter when I expected him to throw the ball, and he got a first down. Yeah, trailing this stage of the fourth quarter. Picked up the first, stopped the clock, too. Yeah, sometimes there's some guts in play calling when you go against the grain because you know you could easily be criticized if it doesn't work out. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. That's someone who's pretty happy right there. That's the defense coordinator. Body after body getting to him before he can get started. A tenth carry here for Mark Ingram. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally taken down at the 34. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Ingram again, a first time of his power, but not a whole lot of space down at the 30. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Oh, no, he lost the football. On plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. He's back to throw, escaping the pressure right. And the throw there going to be incomplete. This secondary as a unit, they've worked really well together in this one, especially late. A lot of cohesiveness, a lot of communication, and some great athleticism. They're playing so well now, a nickname is sure to follow. They're going to have to name this whole unit soon. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. He'll look to throw, buying time to his left. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. Here we go, here we go. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. The drive starts with a handoff to McKinnon. 
Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. Here we go, here we that go, appeared to be a case of see ball, get two, ball. Two, this, in all probability, two. another run here on second and eight. On second down, it's Coleman. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. on first down and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever second and ten looked like he was trying to bounce it outside but no success yeah sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot and trying to get it outside the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down despite the blitz they're still able to pick up a nice solid game the disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Here we go. 180! You ain't going nowhere. Hey, alert! 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 Three down! Three down! One, Omaha! Watch it! Watch it! Check 26! Check 26! Hey, check for hot! On third down, here's Coleman. Oh, what a move. It's a gain of eight there, and that should be enough to seal the victory. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Hey, check, check. Three down, three down. 12, 12. Lucky, lucky. 21, 21. Here we go. They'll run with Coleman on first down. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. 21, 21. On second down now, it's Coleman. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. McKinnon, and not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. So the victory here for San Francisco, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big time performance down the stretch. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.